This is solving systems of equations graphically, but first we're going through this worksheet on the types of systems of equations. A system of equations is a set of two or more equations with the same set of variables. The solutions of a system of equations are the coordinates of all points of intersections of the graphs. We will be solving systems of equations in two variables. The solutions to a system of two equations in two variables are all the ordered points that satisfy, sorry, ordered pairs that satisfy both equations. We're going to be studying linear linear, linear quadratic, and quadratic quadratic systems of equations. So let's take a look at what each of those are. Linear linear systems, a system of two linear equations that could have, so two linear, two lines. They could have no solution. For example, parallel lines won't meet. There is no solution. They could have one solution. That would be intersecting lines. Or they could have infinitely many solutions. That is coincident lines, lines one on top of the other, which have infinitely many solutions. The set of all x, y that satisfy uh, the equation of the line. Linear quadratic system. A system consisting of a linear equation, a straight line, and a quadratic equation could have no solution where the line and the quadratic, the parabola, do not meet. One solution where they touch at exactly one point, which is the set consisting of one ordered pair xy, or two solutions where the line crosses the quadratic, the parabola, in two places. Quadratic quadratic systems of equations. A system of two quadratic equations could have no solution. Again, so we have one opening up and one opening down, and there's no intersection between the two. One solution where they share a common point, two solutions where they cross each other, or infinitely many solutions where one quadratic is on top of the other. They're basically the same uh, parabola. The solution to a system of equations can be determined graphically, and algebraically. Graphically we'll look at uh, today and algebraically we will look at by substitution and by elimination. So let's move on to solving system of equations graphically. Uh, example 1. Solve the system y equals 2x squared minus 16x plus 35 and 2x squared minus 11x plus 8 graphically. Let's bring up our graphing calculator, go to y equals, clear out anything that's sitting in there, let's go back up and let's enter this first equation, 2x squared minus 16x, whoa, how did I hit cos on there, let me just go back and get rid of that uh, cos. Okay, 2x squared minus 16x plus 35. And let's go to y2 and enter 2x squared, 2x squared minus 8. And you can follow what I'm doing just by following the uh, cursor, plus 11. And let's hit graph and see what we have. There's one quadratic. There's the other quadratic, and they appear to have one solution here. As this is going to open out wider, then I don't think there will be any other crossing points. To find the point of intersection, let's go second calc. Number five is intersect. All I'm going to do is trace along one of the quadratics until I'm at the point of intersection, and I hit enter three times. Notice first curve is y1. First curve, hit enter. Second curve moves to the other equation, y2. Hit enter, and a guess while we're close. And the solution is one point, the point three, five. Okay, so the solution set, uh, I'm gonna need my pen, the solution set is the ordered pair three, five. Now, we might want to examine this a little bit further. How do I know? Well, we, we can zoom out. And we'll 
can see the two equations, one plotting then the other, and I think you can see how one, this will always be inside of that one and vice versa. So we only have that one solution uh, set. Okay, let's move down and try example two. Next system, this is linear quadratic, y equals negative two x squared plus eight, and this which we can't enter into our calculator. So I'm gonna move the y over and the three and get three x plus three is equal to y, or y equals three x plus three. So we'll graph this as y one and this as y two and I've taken the liberty of entering these. Uh, again, with the negative in front of the 2x squared, it's this negative down here. Uh, I'm gonna go back to zoom, standard zoom, that's the minus 10 to 10. Uh, considering I had zoomed out. And we can see that we have two points of intersection. The solution will consist of two intersections. So second, calc, intersect. Uh, I'm interested in y1 and y2, I'm just gonna move down about to the point of intersection, hit enter three times, one, two, three, and negative 2.5, negative 4.5, and our other point, uh, intersect, um, I'm going to move down to the straight line because it's the shortest distance between two points is a straight line and hit enter one two three and we get one and six so let's go back here one comma six uh, if we want exact values which you know we kind of like this would be negative five halves negative nine halves and one and six. So that's expressed as a, an improper fraction rather than a decimal. <clears throat> now we need to verify the solutions. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set up a left side, which is equal to y, and I'm gonna verify them in the first equation and the right side is negative 2x squared plus 8. So let's try the first solution. Negative 9 halves is y, so this is equal to negative 9 halves. And this is negative 2 times, okay, now this will be negative 5 halves. Quantity squared plus 8. This squared will be a positive, so we'll have negative 2 times 25 over 4 plus 8. That's the 2 goes in, so we'll have negative 25 halves plus, now 8 can be expressed as 16 over 2, giving me negative 9 halves. And so we can see that the first point <coughs> is on this line. Now we want to verify is the first point on this line. So we're going to use the original equation um, because maybe I made a mistake, you know, re, uh, reordering this or solving for y. So always go to the original. The left side is 3x minus y. And the right side will be very simple in this case. Right side is negative 3. So this is equal to three times, my x is negative five halves, minus y is negative nine halves, sorry, minus negative nine halves. So this is negative 15 over two plus nine over two, negative six over two, which is negative three. And so we can see that the point negative five halves, negative nine halves, satisfies both equations and is therefore a solution to the system. Now we need to do the same thing with one and six. So what I'm going to do is just go back up here and erase this stuff and then I'll come back and do the same thing with one and six. 
Okay, let's try this with 1 and 6. So the left side of the first equation will be 6 equals 6. Negative 2 times 1 squared plus 8. 1 squared is 1, this will be negative 2 plus 8, which is 6. So this is true. What that means is that the point 1, 6 is on the, on the quadratic, on the parabola. Now we need to verify that it is also on uh, the straight line. So I'm going to plug in 3 times 1 minus 6, which is negative 3. And it is true that the point 1, 6 is also on the straight line. And so we have found our solution set consisting of these two points. Okay, one more example. Solve the system. Well, two more examples. Three more examples. Solve the system 2x squared plus 2x minus y plus 5 equals 0 graphically. Round answers the to the nearest tenth. Let's go to the nearest tenth. Round answers to the nearest tenth. Okay, now in order to do this, I'm going to have to do some rearrangements because we can only graph y equals. So if we move this over, then this will become y equals 2x squared plus 2x plus 5. And this equation will become y equals x squared minus 7x plus 9. So I'm going to go enter those into my graphing calculator. I'll just turn it off. Turn it on. Whoops. Go to y equals. Let's clear out what's in there. Clear. Uh, 2x squared, 2x squared plus 2x plus 5 and second graph x squared x squared minus 7x plus 9 and let's hit graph there's one equation there's the other let's uh, zoom out Let's know where I want to zoom out from. <laughs> Let's just hit enter. And we can see, I think we've only got the one point of intersection here. Uh, you know, we can always look in the table to see what the values are doing. And you can see that these are climbing, well, Yeah, these two, this 89 is less than 107, less than, less than, and all of a sudden it becomes greater than, so maybe something else is happening out in this region here. So we could see, I'm going to go zoom standard again. Oops, zoom. Zoom standard. So we can see that there's one intersection here, so let's go find it. Second calc intersect. I'm just going to move pretty close to the point and hit enter three times, two, three. And I want this to the nearest uh, tenth, so 0 0.4 and 6.2. 0 0.4 and 6.2. But I think there might be something happening out uh, in this negative 10, 11 region, up in the 2 to 300 region. So let's go set this so we go maybe negative 20 to 0. And uh, let's set this. Where did we say it was? Up in the 2, 200, 100. So maybe from 100 to 250. Zoom, let's go 100 to 250. Hit graph, and let's see if we've got anything crossing there. And there we have it. See, there's another point of intersection. Second calc, intersect. And this is pretty close. I'm just going to go down a little closer. Hit enter three times. And we get negative 9.4 and 163.8. Negative 9.4 and 
eight. Okay, and that is a set of numbers. Okay, and now we want to kind of walk through a couple of uh, examples from the book. And here's that last example in Desmos, and you can see I've just sort of zoomed out and we can see our points of interest. There's the point of intersection of the two, or one of the points of intersection. And then here's the other one at uh, 0 0.4 and 6.2, uh, as well as some intercepts and such. But you know, you can see that there are two uh, points where the graphs are crossing. So there are those two solutions uh, to this system. So now let's uh, go off and we'll take a look at example four on page 430. And, you know, I'll let you read through example four on page 430. I've drawn the graph in Desmos, and we can see that um, the blue line, it represents the quadratic, and the red-ish lines represent the two uh, straight lines, which are the two tangent lines. And we're looking for these two points, negative 6.67, comma, 3, and point 0.10 comma 3.25 which are the points of tangency so you could do this of course on your graphing calculator we just get a you know, slightly different view uh, kind of a little better view but you should try this on your graphing calculator to find those two points of tangency and to play with your window till you end up with something that looks that the actual quadratic actually looks quadratic and for that uh, you can see the settings I've used here are from negative 20 to 20 for the x's and from uh, about 1.8 to about 6 for the uh, y values. And the next uh, or last thing to be looked at on this is uh, example 5 on page 432. And again, this is something that you can look through uh, for yourself and just uh, take a look through it and try and figure out what's going on and uh, you know ask questions if you need to but uh, look through those two examples uh, as well and then off to the homework questions the assignment